ladies and gentlemen once again welcome back to our channel and today's presentation topic is COBOL rename statement before I start with today's presentation I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel and I would like to say a big thank you to each one of you who have already subscribed to our channel okay so in today's presentation we're going to cover three different topics first one is an introduction to COBOL rename statement then we'll talk about COBOL rename syntax detail and the last section is COBOL rename examples so that you can have better understanding and I'm sure by the end of this presentation you will able to understand how you can use COBOL rename clause in your programs so let's begin with introduction to COBOL rename statement. COBOL rename statement is used to define an alternative name or alias for data elements or group of data items. COBOL rename clause is also used to regroup several elementary data items into a record so that they can belong to the original group as well as to the newly defined group. And last important point is that rename clause is used with a special level number that is 66. And the important point is that nowadays rename clause is not used very often because of uh, maintenance problem. However, you are free to use and you can very well use that in your COBOL programs. Now let's move on to next section which is COBOL rename syntax detail. COBOL rename syntax is fairly simple and easy to understand. The syntax begins with a level number and for rename clause the level number should be 66. Then you have data name 1 which is followed by renames keyword. Again you have data name 2 through data name 3. Now data name 2 and 3 are actually regrouped under data name 1. Now let's look at a couple of important points before moving to the example section. So the first important point is that all rename entries associated with one logical record must immediately follow that record's last data description entry. Second important point is that a level 66 entry cannot rename a level 1, level 77, level 88 or any other level 66 entry. Another important point is that no data item between data name 2 and data name 3 can contain an occur clause. And the last important point is that you can write any number of rename entries for a logical record. Now let's move on to the next section that is COBOL rename examples. Now let's look at our first rename clause example. So in this example, I am actually regrouping employee first name and last name variable in under a new variable that is employee personal information, right? And if you see that uh, I have defined a record that says employee rec, under that you have employee rec layout then you have employee first name and last name and immediately you have COBOL rename clause right that says level 66 employee personal information renames employee first name through employee last name. So now you can access particular information with a new field that is emp-per-info. Now let's move on to next example of rename statement. So in this example, I'm actually using a single field that is again regrouped under a different field, right? So if you see again, you have EMP as a complete layout. Then you have EMP hyphen rec hyphen layout. Then you have three variables that is first name, last name and phone number. So what I've done is I have used level 66 that is EMP contact number renames EMP phone number. So in nutshell you can access this particular information using EMP phone number variable and you can also access this information by using EMP contact number. Now let's move on to example number three which is a 
pictorial representation of uh, actual record and a regroup record by using a rename clause. So in this example, you have a group variable that says record1, which is actually having four different fields. That is DN1, DN2, DN3, and DN4. And at level 66, you have a variable called DN5, which actually renames or regroup variable number DN1, DN2, and DN3, right? And if you look at um, just a, a pictorial representation of this particular grouping. So at the top you have a complete record that is record 1 which which includes DN1, DN2, DN3 and DN4 and the new field or the level 66 field that is DN5 actually includes DN1, DN2 and DN3. So you can access this information that is DN1, 2 and 3 by using either record 1 or you can use uh, DN-5. Ladies and gentlemen, this marks an end to our today's presentation and in case you have any questions, then please do mention that in the comment section. I'm going to respond back after this presentation. Also, don't forget to mention your feedback regarding this particular video in comment section. And last but not the least, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. Thank you once again. Stay safe and take care.